Hello everyone, if you did not know who I am, my name is Paradoxical Intention, but you all call me Paradoxy. And welcome to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Now, first and foremost, before we begin, I understand I've been gone for a couple of months, um, mostly due to technical issues, but also due to some personal issues. And um, while all the technical issues have not been fixed, there are a few things I still need to do. I need to do some stuff involving my, my tablet for art, and my headphones are starting to go out, so I'm going to have to replace those very soon. But I feel comfortable enough with the setup I have now to finally get back into recording and hopefully doing some awesome stuff for you guys again. At the very least, I'm hoping to get back to at least one video a week. So um, thank you guys so much for your patience, and I understand that you guys don't, didn't have to stick around, but you did. And for those of you who did, thank you very much. So without further ado, let's get into Afterbirth, a DLC I've been waiting months for. I'm super excited. I was super excited for Rebirth, and I'm even more excited for Afterbirth. Um, so we're going to use File 3 for YouTube. And there's also, for those of you who've never played this game before, there is a lot of things in here. It's just, it's a huge game, infinitely replayable, a bunch of super awesome stuff. Um, there's also things you can unlock, like you can unlock different characters, you can unlock items and things like that by defeating certain bosses. But for now, we can only be Isaac, so let's go ahead and be Isaac. Oh, hello. Nope, you stop that. Okay, so... Infested? Ooh, we got some spiders. Neat. The friendlies. Can't leave these lying around because I don't want to take the risk that I'm going to accidentally blow them up or something. So we need to find our item room post-haste because right now we are just plain old Isaac and that's not good. Ooh, there is a tinted rock right here. For those of you who don't know what tinted rocks are, if you blow them up like so, you can sometimes get these little blue hearts, which are super nice. They're kind of like disposable health, and they're really, really awesome. Um, I want to go to our item room before I fight the boss. I'd feel more comfortable if I had a buff. Oh, what are you? I have not seen you before. You're like a fat little uh, beaker. What is that? I've never seen that before either. A second hand, extended stat effect. Does that mean I get like a second room whenever I get like a range up or temporary uh, like paralysis? Uh, are you a wizard? Which are both bad effects. That it's interesting to think about. I, I've never had that trinket before. That must be an afterbirth one that I've never seen before. I have been watching a lot of um other YouTubers play afterbirth. Well, I say a lot of. Other I say other YouTubers, but really I just mean Northern Lion, because uh, he's been doing like four episodes a day of this stuff, so it's like super saturated, and it's a great way for me to see a lot of the items, because I kind of actually suck at this game, if you guys might have noticed from my previous Let's Plays of uh, the older Binding of Isaac series. And I've had this item before. This gives me a turret on top of my head. I'm so styling. I'm so styling. Okay, so we've been to our item room. We can't go to our shop because, honestly, we don't have 15 cents. It wouldn't make sense to go unless we had 15 cents. Um, this looks like it's going to be our secret room right here. Yep, I was right. Oh, wow. Three keys. Game, you are being so generous. Is it my birthday? It's almost Christmas. That could be it. Maybe it's just Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And yes, it is the most wonderful time of the year because Fallout 4 is coming out in a couple of days and I'm super excited for that even though I won't be able to play it for a while. Because I'm poor. I'll get it eventually. And... Would I play it for the channel? Probably not. At least not at first. Ooh, Gemini. Ah! Oh, why? No, get away! I don't want your love! I don't want your love! No means no! The knockback is ridiculous. And I, I'm not really sure how um, host hat works. I think it just kind of pops up whenever it wants to. Oh, jeez. Forget how, how bad the knockback is on little Gemini. 
Got that? No. Ow. Mm. Ah, jeez. Back up. Don't want none. My anaconda don't. My anaconda most assuredly does not. Nope. Ah. Back up. You back up. Have I mentioned, like, the new soundtrack for Afterbirth is really killer, and I have the soundtrack for Rebirth. Mom's Pearls, range plus luck up. Um, I have the, the soundtrack for Rebirth, and I'm wondering if they're going to release Afterbirth as a separate soundtrack, because if so, I totally want to drop some money on that, because the Rebirth soundtrack and the Afterbirth soundtrack are amazing. They're just so good, especially the songs for the cathedral, which is like a really high level thing. We're not going to get to it in this video because, you know, we're starting a new save file. And the first time you only have to beat mom and mom's not easy, but like once you beat mom once, then you can go to the further in the game. And there's like a bunch of new different boss levels you could go to and all kinds of stuff. Um, and again, I have been playing a bit of this on my own. I mean... Uh, I've got like 80 plus hours on this game actually. Oh, he farted me into the fire, dude! What the F? Everything's on fire! What is that? Is that an ocarina? Bob's bladder, creepy bombs. It looks like an ocarina. Like from Zelda. Uh, no. 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 Oh, you think you're slick. You think you're slick. I saw you. I saw you. So we're gonna come down here. So again, item room. Uh, we have eight cents. It might be prudent for us to go to the shop. Just to see if they have a spirit heart for sale. Because now that we're on the second floor... I don't see any tinder rocks in here. Now that we're on the second floor, we have to worry about deal with the devil precedent because that is going to help us out immensely. If we manage to score a deal with the devil, we can trade away our heart containers for really super awesome items. For the most part, sometimes the items are not so great. But if it's a new item, I'm probably... Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it! I have screwed the pooch. I was talking it up and then I messed it up by taking damage. Again. I wasn't screwed before, I assuredly am now. Die five ever. I hate these. I hate these so much. They're such a pain in my ass. Pop up! Pop up! That's right. You thought wrong. I wish host hat worked a little better because I have no idea. Box of spiders. Well, at least we now have a spacebar item, and essentially every two rooms of combat, we get a spider! Or a couple of spiders, which is also good. And some of you are probably wondering, why are you going out of your way to pop all these poops? Uh, because money. I'm gonna open up our shop. Tarot cards. Honestly, I think we'd be better off with a box of spiders, but I am gonna buy this bomb. And I'm gonna put four cents in our donation machine. What this donation machine does, for those of you who are unaware, is it uh, makes it so we can have better shops in the future with more items. And if we get our shop up to 999 cents, we get we unlock an item called the stopwatch, which makes every room super slow. It's like a fantastic item. I'm not sure what the creepy bombs does. Does it just sort of give it like poison damage or... Oh, jeez. You're a new boss. Little Horn is an afterbirth boss. Oh, jeez. I didn't know you could shoot two of them at once. Kind of glad I got that spirit heart. I could have spent that bomb looking for the, for the secret room, but I think we were better off using it for this purpose. Stop it! Stop coughing these up. That's not cool, man. Where am I? Oh, F you! I, I, I hope you step on a Lego, dude. You were like the worst boss. I thought Dingle was bad. Nah, man, it's you. It's all you. I want you to step in a box of Legos. It's like a whole 
500 piece bucket I just want you to stick your little feetsies in there and just get comfortable because that is your world now at least I can use these troll bombs to blow up these little smoke bombs or whatever they are I'm not sure what they are they're just kind of like he's just coughing up smoke you need to continue to die but you need to do it faster because we been to our item room? Yeah, we got a box of spiders. I was just thinking, we're, we're, how did we go to our item room? And I can't believe I've forgotten this soon. Yes! Monstrous Tooth! What is this? Growth Hormones. Well, we didn't get a deal with the devil because I sincerely fucked it up. And for that, I apologize. I imagine uh, more seasoned Isaac players than I are probably just hitting their head against their desk right now. But there's nothing much I can do about it. Um, I think Creepy Bombs is probably better for us than... Uh, second hand or Bob's bladder. It's gross. There are many, many Bob items in this game. There's Bob's rotten head. There's Bob's mind. Um, uh, and there now there's Bob's bladder. I don't know if there are any other Bob items though. I think those are it. Ah. Oh, what you? I forgot. This is like a new thing to Afterbirth. Now you can have like enemies ah. in the curse rooms and stuff. That's really not cool. Let's see. Don't see any more tinted rocks. So I think we're done with this floor. So we're gonna head. Uh, we gotta go this way. We're gonna head down to the next floor, and hopefully we get to deal with the devil on the next floor, and I don't mess it up as badly as I did before. Isaac's had such a hard life. I feel so bad for him. Pop our spiders because we're gonna need him. I remember you. You're no trouble at all. Alright. I'm gonna come in here. Oh, I have these guys are new. Are those... What kind of flies are those? Like, I've heard people call them corn flies. And I'm not... I don't think that's, like, 100% accurate, but at the same time, it's, like, the only thing we got. That is so sorely tempting, but no. I remember you. It's the flying butthole. Let me fight our boss real quick. The stain. All these pink poops. I hate them so much. They regenerate and they're toxic and they're bad. Where are you gonna go? Come on, man. Come on. I hate monsters that do this. What? got telefragged even though I like I, he popped up so close to me I walked right into him that is telefragging at least or, or just at the very least he spawned way too close to me bullshit oh come on I hate this monster so much well, we're screwed on the deal with the devil because I took damage on the boss fight. I took red heart damage. Die. Die. I hate you so much. Like, I wanted Little Horn to step in a box of Legos. I want you to step into a box of used syringes. Like, not even gonna lie here. You need to stop. You are terrible. What is that? Is that Maggie? Who are you? Mr. Dolly, range plus tears up. That is so neat. It looks like Maggie. Oh, that's so cool. Sorry, I was fawning over a new item, but it's so cute. There's also um, one I really like called PJs, which gives you, which heals you up completely. And it's, uh, it gives you a bunch of spirit hearts. What is that? Blister, bounce back. Nope, don't want that. Wonder what Blister does. All this stuff is kind of new to me. I've actually gotten a lot of newer items on this run, which is very surprising. But then again, Afterbirth added so much to the game. I just took some really nasty damage there. I shouldn't have taken. But Afterbirth has added a lot to the game, and I'm super, super excited because while Rebirth took the uh, original game, The Binding of Isaac. And it's DLC Wrath of the Lamb and added a bunch of stuff to it. Oh, that's nice. Um, 
pretty much kind of came out with half a spirit heart. Um, Rebirth kind of like took the vanilla game or the base game and added a bunch of stuff to it. And then now we have a DLC that adds even more to it. So now we're like, we're not just getting vanilla Binding of Isaac and Wrath of the Lamb. We're also getting Rebirth and all this new stuff that I've never seen before. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked for this. Because it's going to make the game even more replayable, and it's just, it's forever replayable. Ooh, a sack. Ooh, a dime! Iffy! Uh, so we have enough money to, to go to our shop, finally. So I think we're going to swing by there and not walk on any spikes like a dum-dum. These bombs. What do we got? Ghost baby! I don't want ghost baby. But it doesn't, it's a passive item, so I'm gonna pick it up just because. Ghost baby's kind of a really crappy item. It just shoots tears that can go over rocks. That's it. That's all ghost baby does. It's not that great. I think I know where our seeker room is. And we got enough bombs. I think I could check it out. Let's just let me make sure it's like a viable secret room. Yes. Um, because the secret room meta was changed with Rebirth, and because there's like holes and stuff in the floor now, if there's like uh, f places where the secret room can be blocked, <gasps> I need it! Raw liver is so good! I'm just gonna blow these up for fun. Oh, that is such a good pickup! I know it looks like dog poop, but I promise you, it's raw liver, and it's a great HP upgrade. And that is so good. I got pretty much an HP upgrade and four cents for a bomb. I guess you could say that trade was the bomb. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, bad pen was bad. Diplopia. I'm gonna buy this. I'm not gonna buy Diplopia. Or Diplopia. I'm also gonna get into this chest. I think this chest could be good things. And it was! I pretty much got an extra bomb. And we're gonna go down the next floor. And now that we have uh, two spirit hearts and a black heart, which uh, a black heart causes damage to enemies in the room when it goes away, I'm gonna go to shop. Oh, that's a Ooh! I'm actually going to take Book of Belial with us, because Book of Belial guarantees us deals with the devil, which is super great, and it gives us a damage boost in the room we use it in. So I'm going to use it in here, because this room is full of explosives. And I need everything to die very quickly, because I do not want to get blown up in here. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna blow me sky high, up in here, up in here. I hate enemies that explode. They're the worst, especially when you have really, really bad range. Not that our range is bad at the moment. It's just, it's not an, it's not a really nice experience dealing with enemies that explode. Just they're not fun. Let's find our item room. Oh, here it is. No, no. Oh, that got blocked. Humming bombs. Interesting. So pretty much now our bombs are going to lock onto enemies and like sort of coast towards them. Like bob bombs from Super Mario. There's a lot of Mario references in this game. There's also a lot of Zelda references. Like this game has been compared to very old school Zelda, which is, I've played a little bit of it when I was a kid. I never got a chance to play a lot of it. I hate these new ones. I hate them so much. Really? I hate these leeches. They're so awful. It's a good thing their health is so low, but I still don't like to deal with them because they explode into bullets when they die. I just want more damage. That's all I want. My kingdom for some damage upgrades. Okay, now we can go to the shop. Up. Do, 
These ones aren't bad because they don't like home in on you, but they still shoot bullets. They're still kind of bad. But they're super weak, so I'm not worried. Fun! Uh, can you not? No! No more leeches. You stop that. Oh, no. oh, this dude over here thinks he's so slick. You're gonna get in the conga line and you're gonna like it. Ooh, I like that one. Um, essentially, what that item does is it restocks everything as soon as you buy it. Justice. Justice. Yes, that's what I said, sir. Um. It's nice to get a free battery, but I think if we get like one more cent, I'm gonna come in here and buy that spirit heart because it's gonna be so good for us later. <laughs> because I take a lot of dumb damage all the time because I'm so terrible at this game. <laughs> oh, sweet. Got another battery charge. So that means we're going to take a full charge of uh, Book of Belial down with us to the next floor, which is going to be handy. Honestly, I should be using it more than I am, but since these enemies are so weak right now, I'm not really perturbed by it. Oh, I'm going to go get that spirit heart. Because it's close enough. And if we have more money, I could just go get another one thanks to Restock, which is an amazing item that I really, really like. Gertie! Hello! Gertie's one of the few bosses that's from vanilla. Like, he's from the original game. Gertie is an old, old boss. And that's why, probably why I know how to face him so well. And watch, I'm gonna take damage from him any second now, because I got cocky. But, and I deserve it. See? See uh, I, took, I think I might have taken it from, like, the little blood knife. Not from Gertie himself, but I got cocky. Little chubby! That's not dirty. Speed and shot speed up. Little baggy! Ooh. I don't know what that sack is, but we have enough hearts to take all of these. Damage upgrade. Fear shot. Unlock the Zazel. Black powder. Spin the black circle. What is this? <gasps> what does that do? This is like one of those. What is that? Why is, Why does it put a pentagram on the floor? I gotta test that out. This is like, what is that? There's like a DS game where like you make the deal with the devil and like you can do that on your patients. I gotta figure out what that does. That's seems really cool, but also kind of creepy. Then again, that's most of this game, so... No! Okay, so that, this bed will regenerate our health, and this might lead to a crawl space, or it's gonna lead down to the next floor. So we technically don't have to face the boss, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna ignore that. Yeah, we got enough. I'm gonna go for this. Um, so pretty much what that trapdoor leads is pretty much just like the one at the end of the boss fight. Where it leads you... So I'm going to pick up Liberty Cat, by the way, because it's really awesome. It gives you like a random mushroom effect every room. I didn't... I could test it in here. Um... What does that do? I guess it only works on ground enemies. But, um, yeah, we're not going to use in that trapdoor in Isaac's room because I want to get the deal with the devil potential. That's more important to me than... Oh, it does damage to them when they walk across it. Neato! I guess I gotta go in a big enough circle. Oh, I can... Can I make it bigger? Or is that just the size it has to be? Oh, I can make it bigger! Oh my gosh! That is so cool! <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. 
just gonna go around drawing pentagrams all over the floor. Oh, and I unlock Lazarus! That's so cool! It also counts on me being very maneuverable. Haha, <laughs> suckers! See what I mean about deals with the devil? They're so good and you wanna use them all- you wanna get them all the time because they're going to help you out, like, a lot. Unless you get, like, the shovel. The shovel does not do anything. Except, like, it digs a hole to the next floor, essentially. It's so, like if you're speedrunning, it's cool, but other than that, it's pretty useless. Prayer card. I'm gonna use it once, because what it does is it gives you an eternal heart. And what eternal hearts do is if you manage to make it down to the next floor with them, or you get two eternal hearts at the same time, they give you an HP. And that's handy. Actually, you know what I can do? I'm going to pick up prayer card, go get that battery, and give myself a full HP. Because that would be the smart thing to do. And I think prayer card takes like six rooms to recharge as well. See? Two eternal hearts equals one HP. If we find any more batteries, I think it'd be a good idea to maybe backtrack and go pick that up. Because, you know, that'll give us more uh, fodder to pay the devil with. Power pill. Um, nom 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 nom. Pac-Man. So this black powder item is really cool. It just kind of creates a weird kind of creep. And I can probably see why some people might not like it because, you know, you have to move in a specific way to get it to work. A dime! That makes our shop worthwhile, at least. Ah. Yeah, stop that. Ha, <laughs> sucker! Can't hit me! Ha <laughs> ha! Can't hit me! Get him. Uh, da -da. So I'm gonna go to our shop, because we have over 15 cents. Greed! Why? Oh. Nah. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, hop over here now. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Ooh, a steam sale. So next time we go into a shop, and I think... What level are we on? Depths one. Uh, the next time we go into a shop, the next shop I think will, will also be our last. Uh, everything will be half off. So we can pretty much walk in there with seven cents and uh, get money. You spawn spiders. That's really not cool. Um... If we get another battery, I'll backtrack for prayer card. Because that, that way it's like one confirmed HP. It's not like, oh, I have to hold on to it. And... But even if we don't find another battery, I might still do it. Because, like, after we get our boss, and then we go down the next floor. Spirit hearts are nice. Getting good drops on that. Oh! Yeah! Oh, come on. Come on! Hey. Monster too. <gasps> I just walked right into him. Oh, jeez. What, what am I doing? Why am I not using Book of Belial? See, now I'm trying to concentrate too much and trying to make a damn circle, and it's just... It is kind of getting in the way. I can see why people would not like Black Bag, because, you know, you have to do it in a certain way, and you might focus more on making the circle than you would on... Can't take any... I don't... Well, it doesn't matter if I take any more damage, actually, because Book of Belial gives us a guaranteed deal with the devil anyway. But it's still something I would like to avoid doing. We need all the health we can get for the upcoming floor. You need to stop, Monstro. I remember the good old days in vanilla where you could just like get him to do an ending never ending laser shot. You sort of like bait him. It'd be so good. Can't do that anymore though. His AI, and now he cannot be baited. I used to be a master baiter. I'm sorry, I'll stop at the badge list now, I promise. Torn photo is actually really good for us. Um. 
I'm gonna go get the prayer card. That's probably for the best. We really want to aim for a win on this run. It involves a lot of backtracking, and for that I'm kind of sorry. But honestly, I want to have the best option to win available to me. And I think that by giving myself a chance at an extra HP, I'm going to have that opportunity. Then we gotta come back for Book of Belial. And then we could probably just use the uh, trapdoor in Isaac's room to go down. Which would be easier on me, at the very least. Was there a battery in our shop? If there was... Oh no, that's right, we fought Greed. So there was no battery in our shop. So I'm gonna go get Book of Belial. And then we're gonna use uh, the bed in Isaac's room. And go down. Or they're gonna use the trapdoor in Isaac's room. We don't need the bed because we're at full HP. I'm surprised we didn't get a, a deal with the devil on this on this floor because normally you would get a deal with the devil with Book of Belial unless they fix it and I don't know about it. I'm gonna go into this curse room. Ah. Come on! Oh, let's see if there's anything good in here. I got my bomb back in a penny. Oh. I'm gonna go. Well, we're doing well so far. I'm kind of taking a long time, but it's like my first run, and I don't really care about scores or anything like that. I just kind of want to... I don't want to do anything in there. But I just kind of want to um, do some good here. Oh, it's, oh, I thought we didn't grab Book of Belial. I was going to, like, literally just slam my head in my desk up for that one, but we did grab it. I'm just stupid. It's just not charged right now, because I went to go use it, and I'm like, why isn't it working? Oh my god, did I not grab it? And I've taken some damage. Please don't tell me they they nerfed Book of Belial. I'll be so upset. That's like the only way I can get deals with the devil because I'm so bad at this game. I summon the Ghost Igu. Get on the spikes. Get on the spikes. Get on the spikes. That room is always so much easier with spikes. You can just kind of like knock them back onto it and it's just so much easier. Okay, gotta take care of these little haunts. I narrowly avoided getting hit there. Spoonbender. Interesting. That gives us uh, psychic tears. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to go out, come back in, and then put a bomb in the center. And hopefully they'll get some of the, the skulls. Tarot card! High Priestess. Okay, that'll be good against the boss. I'm going to come in here. Boomerang is really crappy. <gasps> Joker! Hmm, Gimpy or missing page two? I'll take Gimpy. So every time we get hit, we have a chance to drop a um, spirit heart. Two of spades gives us more keys. High priestess? Well, two high priestess cards. Uh, two of spades, again. The fool. Okay, so we're gonna go with the High Priestess card, uh, since we have, like, I guess three of them now? <laughs> Wait for this creep to go away. We got enough range to take care of this guy. He I can't get, don't care, because I have eight of them. Oh, pin. Pop this here. There we go. Okay. A chest, two bombs, and a penny isn't bad. Slowly move around. Okay. 
Where's our boss? Oh, it's down here. Sweet. We are going the right way. Oh, Withers! I, I don't think that's their official name, but I started calling them Withers because they are essentially black skeletons. And they make me think of the Withers from Minecraft. Oh, I forgot. I don't think you can use the uh, High Priestess on the mom fight. Joker card. Well, it's pretty much useless for us. Alright. Time to go. Let's do this. Isaac. Come on, Mom. Drop your foot. Come on! Yeah! The power of Satan compels you! Just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Yay! Oh. <laughs> well, that was it. I unlocked the womb. I think I unlocked uh, a bunch of challenges, purists. X, 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 L. Speed. Have a heart. Pride day. Onan streak. Guardian. The four horsemen. A cube of mutant of all the bandages. And that was it for the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. If you guys liked that video, please hit the like button. And let me know if you guys want to see more. Because I'd be more than happy to do more runs of this for you guys. In the meantime, I will see you guys in the next video. So in the meantime, have fun. Good game and bye -nee!